So uh, periodic functions, we're going to start off really slow and easy. There's some more advanced stuff that, that you need to know about graphing periodic functions, but we're going to start off really nice and slow and easy. Uh, the thing we're going to focus on is uh, uh, just how to take uh, a simple function that's given to us, um, maybe something like uh, x equals uh, cosine of theta, something like that. Um, and uh, in this case, we're actually going to put x up here. We're going we're gonna to say this for uh, now, we'll say this is our x-axis. And this is a 1 on the x, and this is a 0. And then down here, approximately down here, is about negative 1. And the reason why we do that, put x up there, is because theta is going to go this way. So uh, let's see here. So we'll put, uh, uh, there's about, uh, we'll break this up into four parts if we can. Maybe one more. So this guy over here, we're going to start at, uh, this will be zero radians. And, uh, and then up here, uh, this will be uh, pi over 2 and then this will be pi radians, and this will be 3 pi over 2, and this will be 2 pi radians, also known as 4 pi over 2. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off over here at this point, and we're going to say, hey, I know that the coordinates of this point, uh, by the way, this is a unit circle, and uh, there's certain something that we assume about a unit circle. You should know it. It's very important. What is the main thing that we should remember about unit circles? Um, think about it for a second. It's that the radius equals 1. Uh, unit, like the word uno, um, relates to 1. Okay, so that means that our coordinates here are going to be, uh, oops, our coordinates here are going to be x equals 1 and y equals 0 at this very first point we're interested in. And then as we go around uh, this guy up here, um, it'd be so nice if you could kind of pause the video and work ahead of me if you, j just to get a little practice on this. Um, uh, otherwise, I'm going to keep going. Uh, this x will be 0 and this y will be uh, 1. And then over here again, you please you do it before I do it. Um, the x here should be negative one, and the y here will be zero. And finally, we get over to here, and our x here will be zero, and our y here will be negative one. And uh, we're going to go ahead and walk around the circle and uh, put in our radians. So this is zero radians here. And up here, this will be 90 degrees, but um, it's pi over 2 radians. Um, and again, if you pause the thing and work ahead of me, um, that would be great. Um, uh, okay, I'm going to go ahead and give it to you. This guy here is going to be pi radians. And then this guy over here is 3 pi over 2 radians. And finally, when we get all the way back here, um, this guy can be written as 0 radians or 2 pi radians. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to put some, we're going to graph, we're going to go around the circle and graph this way uh, for, for, for this guy here, x equals cosine of theta. So let's do it. So we're going to try, um, well, at this point 1 comma 0, 0 radians. So here's 0 radians, x is 1, look, x is 1 at, at, at 0 radians. So we'll go ahead and we'll put a dot here. Um, there we go. There's x is 1 at 0 radians. Uh, over here at pi over 2 radians, x is 0. So we come down to here. Not quite sure what's going on elsewhere, but I know that at pi, x is negative 1. So we're going to come way down here. And then at 3 pi over 2, x is 0. So we'll go ahead and we'll put a dot there. And then finally at uh, 2 pi, uh, x is 1. So we'll come right back up there. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to smoothly connect these guys as best we can. Um, I'm not the best at drawing these smooth lines, especially not with uh, this little computer tablet, but try to do the best I can, kind of with sort of a swooping sort of curve that should be right there. And this guy should swoop a little bit more, make it nice and pretty. There we go. Now. 
Um, if we had the ability to write out all the radians and all the coordinates, we could, we could, we you would see that this nice curve forms. And so, in fact, what I want to show you is we'll we'll use the Desmos online graphing calculator so that you can see that right. Now, in order to get the results that I'm looking for here with Desmos, um, it won't let me put in x equals cosine of theta and get the correct result. So we're just going to put y equals cosine of theta. And then you can see that we get a curve that looks a bit like the one that we've seen. Um, let's go ahead and, uh, oh, uh, we want to go ahead and put in radians here. So I'm going to go ahead and change our x-axis labeling to radians. Let's see how that looks. And uh, then when I do, um, I'm going to go ahead and click on some specific points. So here's, uh, here's uh, again, when, uh, when we're at zero radians, we expect to get, uh, we expect to get the cosine to be equal to one. And, uh, and here, the cosine of theta is one there. And then here, when we're at pi radians, pi over two radians, we expect the cosine of theta to be zero. And when we're at pi radians, we expect the cosine of theta to be negative 1. Pi, 3 pi over 2, we expect the cosine to be 0. And finally, when we get to, let me go ahead and make it so you can see, when we get to 2 pi radians, we expect the cosine of theta to be 1. So here we can see it, and, and you can see the curves here in the Desmos graphing calculator. Um, so I don't know if that makes you feel a lot more comfortable, but, but certainly we should be seeing curves in between the dots that we draw and uh, this is this is one way to look at that so uh, just for giggles let's try this one more time this time we're going to try y equals uh, sine of theta um, because one of the things that we say about the unit circle is that uh, when you look at the coordinates all the way around the unit circle, and we're going to, in a second, I'm going to go ahead and write them. I'm going to rewrite the coordinates around the unit circle, and I'm going to rewrite the radians. And uh, why don't you hit pause and you beat me to the punch, and then we'll go and we'll proceed with the graphing over here. Okay, so uh, I've got everything all set up, and hopefully you're with me. Again, if not, go ahead and hit pause and then write this stuff down. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start adding dots. Now, again, we're now we're looking at the sine. We're graphing the sine of theta, and we're doing that by saying, hey, the y values we expect to be the sine for any particular angle on the unit circle. So in this case it's zero radians, we have zero for sine, so we expect the sine to start here. Eh, it's a little different than cosine. And then at pi over two radians, the sine should be at one. So this guy then goes up there like that. And then at pi radians, uh, we expect to go back down to zero again. Hmm, interesting. And then at three pi over two, we're going to um, negative one. So that goes right over here. And then finally at 2 pi we go back to um, we go back to 0. Um, so I'll go ahead and put that there. And then again, I'll try as best as I can to make a nice smooth curve as we go through these points. Uh, not perfect, but yeah, you know, you try to do what you can. And then down here, we'll try to make a nice curve. There we go. And then curve right back up. There we go. And that's a nice sine wave. And again, we'll take a quick look at Desmos just to verify that, yeah, that's how it's supposed to look. So again, with Desmos, we have to set y equal to sine of theta in order to get this graph to work. And when we do, you can see, oh yeah, that looks a bit like what we just graphed. We start at the origin and we go up and then down and then uh, down some more and then up in the end.
And again, if we click on these uh, important points, it's 0 radians and pi over 2 and pi and 3 pi over 2 and finally 2 pi, we see that we get, oh yeah, okay, it, it matches up. Um, here is the sine of theta at 0 radians, it's 0. At pi over 2 radians, the sine is 1. And at pi radians, the sine is 0. And at 3 pi over 2, the sine of theta is negative 1. So it matches up with our expectations. All right, that's it.